All right, we're looking at the DinoLite USB handheld digital microscope. This is the model AM4115ZT. Here it is. It gives you an idea of the size of it. I'm just going to go over some of the main features here, and then we're going to uh, hook this up to my computer, and we'll see what it'll do. So, as you see, it has a USB cable. plugs into a USB port on a PC. Uh, I believe these work with a Mac also. Uh, here is one of the controls you'll use the most. This is the magnification control. You go all the way from the lowest magnification to the highest magnification, which I believe is 240. The last marked one is 220, but it goes just beyond that scale, so I believe it will go to 240. Uh, right here you have a little metal button. What that is is actually a capacitive sensor. Uh, all you need to do is if you have this feature turned on in the software, all you have to do is just touch it and it will take a picture. Uh, really cool feature if you're doing it handheld where it's not uh, right there at your computer. Uh, oh, also, uh, when you adjust the control, the uh, magnification control here, there's a small black button. I don't know if you can see it. You just slide that down and that will lock it so it won't change accidentally. Uh, down here, a really nice feature. Uh, it's a polarizer. It's a built-in polarizing filter. Uh, in some cases, this may really help you see the image a whole lot better. And down here is, uh, this is a cover. And for handheld use, you've got a box full of these covers, actually. You've got a total of six. And what they do is they set that distance between the lens and the subject. So for hand holding, in case you know you can't get that steady, you're going back and forth a little bit, but pressing it down on the subject with the, one of these covers on will keep it a fixed distance. Uh, for using it with a stand, look at which I'm going to do in the demonstration, uh, I think you're best off generally just to leave this off. Uh, a couple of other things that come with it. Uh, this is a calibration target. It's a little piece of glass that goes under the microscope. If you want to be able to do accurate measurements uh, of things in your uh, that you're in your field of view, you need to calibrate it, and you can use this to do it with. Very easy, very quick to do it. You would do it for for any given setting uh, of the magnification control. You would uh, recalibrate it so you know exactly what it is when you're measuring it. Very nice feature. Uh, a lot of times you just want to see something. You don't necessarily want to. Uh, you know, measure it, but if you do, this makes that possible. So I'm going to come back in a minute. We're going to have the micro, um, microscope set up on a stand, and we'll show you what it'll do. Okay, we've got the microscope hooked up. It's running into my laptop now, and right now on the field of view down there, we have got a dime, 10 cents, and we are going to look at that at about 100 power. So I'm going to come over here bring my screen into focus and there you can see the part of the date and you can see underneath the, the bust is the letters JS which a lot of people probably never noticed before that's actually the initials of the designer of the 10 cent piece now let me show you something else I'm gonna rotate the polarizer and it does make a little bit of a difference some things that will make more of a difference Maybe that view is best, but down in the very lower left of the image, you can see the copper. That's, you know, this is clad coin. It's copper and it's clad by some other metals on the outside. You can actually see the copper sticking out, which I <laughs> guarantee you I can't see when I can die. So let's come back. We're going to show you a couple of more things here. Okay, we're back. And this time I've got a little, it's an old... Uh, Actually, it's an old circuit board. It's a modem that I had in a computer years ago. I don't even know why I saved it, really, except that I'm a pack rat. So what we've got done here now is I've gone to full screen. In the previous one, I should have gone to the full screen to get a bigger image. But what I'm doing now is showing you the circuit board. Now, here's something I didn't do on the first one. Suppose I want to take a picture of this. Now, you can do a still image or a video or time lapse. But we're going to do a still image. You see that icon right there on the screen. We just click on that. Go ahead and take that picture. And you see another another uh, 
a little uh, picture shows up on the side and it'll save save all of these pictures you take now the default uh, image file was a BMP and I changed that to JPEG otherwise we're shooting everything with the defaults so let me just try to move this around a little it's pretty cool and I've only got it on about uh, I think about a hundred times right now so that gives you one more idea now we're going to be back with one more thing I'll show you and so we'll be back in just a minute Okay, here's one more thing I want to show you, and uh, this is a little ant that we got outside a while ago. I'm, it wasn't easy to do. We had to look because we've had a couple of near frosts that have killed off most of the ants. But here he is. This is a tiny little ant. Uh, mm -hmm. You could just barely see him. in one of the smallest ants I've seen, and he's a winged ant. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it until we magnified him, but he has wings on him. So, uh, you know, if this was in the summer and we had unlimited supply of insects, uh, mm -hmm. you could go nuts playing around with this to check out all the little details and things. So, uh, I think we're going to call it quits here, but just wanted to give you an idea what you can do with the hardware and the software for this. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really uh, fun and educational, I can imagine, for kids. Uh, I did have a, a nice microscope when I was about nine years old I think and I mean couldn't even dream of doing things like this seeing it on a blown up on a screen and taking pictures of it and now you can either use the software uh, that we've got installed here to do some drawing and measuring or you could uh, just take this into like Photoshop or, or elements or whatever software you like to edit with and come up with maybe like a you know a slideshow or uh, you know, a report for school. So that's it from here. I know I've gone on long enough. Uh, full disclosure, I did receive one of these for evaluation and review, and I appreciate your watching. Okay, folks, I know I said that was all, but I have to come back for one more. We tried magnifying them a little yeah. more, and this is this is incredible. You can see his, his big compound eye yeah. and the little pixel things in it. And then the hairs. The little tiny hairs on his <laughs> abdomen. This is unbelievable that's because great. I'm telling you, this guy, uh, I didn't measure him, but, you know, on the microscope stage, but he must be uh, less than a millimeter long. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're getting when we blow that up. Mm -hmm. Just incredible awesome. detail. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're blowing him up here now to uh, something over a hundred times. Mm -hmm. That's just amazing, the detail <laughs> we're seeing on that. Let's get his picture. Yay. Okay, I'm going to let you go. That really is all. Thanks for watching.